I'm so happy to see you here. I'm very excited to be here. What we're going to do is try and explain to the diaspora what's going on today. It's very important. What I witnessed, I had the opportunity to sit in there and watch what was going on. But to see you there, to see the other independents in Parliament was very hard. Today, they're voting for committees. Just give us a brief understanding of what's going on. First, this is the first, you know, days for this Parliament. So everyone is excited and everyone wants to work and uh, they all want to be in all, all committees, which is normal. So uh, usually they, there was an understanding between all the blocks and they used to divide the slice of the committees between all of them. So today we're witnessing uh, voting for the first time since the year 2000, where they only voted for one committee at that time. In 2000? Yeah. So for 22 years, this is the first time that we witness elections and voting in the parliament for the committees. Why do you think that happened? Why do you think that's happening now? Uh, I think it's happening <laughs> to kick us out from most committees. <laughs> Honestly, this is what I think we're going to witness. Um, however, we can accept, we are 10% of the parliament and uh, we will still be a watchdog and we will uh, try to, you know, keep our eyes open in all committees and, and we will try to be there and to be effective in, in the work of the committees, but uh, it's, it's definitely much better to be a member because if you're a member you can vote. And if you remember, you can get, you know, the, uh, the agenda. Mm. So now the next fight is to get the agenda of the committees and to get us to know what's, um, what's the debate and to be able at least to attend. It's the right to every MP to attend. Yeah. However, sometimes we don't know if there's a committee or not. So we, we just need to know the schedule, the agenda, and then we will contribute, you know, the way, uh, in every way possible. I, I took it in a different way. I thought what was happening today, because you, the new MPs, are in Parliament, they're forced to follow the democratic process and use voting instead of decide yes. behind the scenes. But we were okay, you know, if uh, they would have, you know, given us uh, enough seats to be effective in these committees. Uh, we were okay to, to do go and, you know, just uh, be there as members and maybe to be president of at least one committee, uh, but uh, it didn't happen. But I heard the right. names of the, M of the independent MPs coming up a lot when I was sitting in there. But still, only in the first committee, only Ibrahim Nayimi was able to make it. And I don't know about the rest. How maybe many committees are there? 16 or 16? 16. 16, 16 committees. Yes. Big ones of 17 members, some of 12 members, and there's one, the technology committee, 9 members. So. That's a lot of positions. Yes, it's around 241. So you don't think any of the other independent MPs will be in any of those, those I'm committees? I'm hoping, I'm hoping they will be, but you have to wait and see how much you have in every committee and how it is uh, divided between all of them. The three major, most important committees have a lot of MPs that are willing to be in it, which is the Justice and Administration Committee, the uh, finance and budget committee and the uh, uh, social worker social, social work. no, not social uh, uh, public, 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 public 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 work no work public work right yeah just um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, at, at the end of the day at the end of the day you learn Arabic and I learn English and then <laughs> I'm going to be learning. You know, we're dedicating today this for the Lebanese diaspora that yes. created the momentum for the election. Yes. What you will say for them? I can never thank them enough. Really, they, they, they made us proud. And we are 13 here thanks to the Lebanese diaspora. Otherwise, I promise you the result would have been different. Uh, so the diaspora gave us a lot. Created and the momentum. You, ha you have here. some MPs who took a lot of votes in Lebanon and nothing in the diaspora. This is because they vote voters. They vote the votes. And uh, in the diaspora, you cannot buy uh, any votes. So that's, that's the difference. So thank you so much. Thank you, Paula. Thank you. I uh, hope we will not disappoint you. And thank you. Thank you, Daisy. Much. It's an amazing thank you for experience everything for us. You really, Samura TV, Enough, Daisy, and Antare. We love you. you so much. We love you too. Thank you. And I'm so happy to see you here. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, thank Paula. You. We love you.